Hello everyone, Parallel here, and welcome to Terra. I'm here with my co-op partner. Hi everyone. And we're going to be doing a run of Golden Labyrinth. We are on our quest to get to level 65 before the event ends. And we're currently 54. And we have a red storyline quest to go into Golden Labyrinth here, so we thought we'd go ahead and record this and see how it goes. Let's go ahead and head in. We'll be doing the five-man version, of course. Uh, we're doing a co-op. I would say this area is a is where it starts to get a little bit harder to solo. I mean, you can still solo uh, Golden Labyrinth, the five-man version. You can still solo it, but it starts to get a little bit more difficult. And some of the higher, the level 50 dungeons can start to get a little bit more... You just have to be a little careful with not to over pull too many mobs, but otherwise it's pretty pretty easy. Don't even start with me. All right, I will round up these guys as soon as I change. Oh, yes, Now, I'm trying to remember, I think we have to go this way first. Yeah, but as you can see, these guys definitely have a few more hit points than before. Yeah, just a few. Yeah, I mean, the previous dungeons, like, they don't, like, everyone would be dead before you even finish like one one full attack chain. Oh those went down pretty quick. I used Did you get a crit on your arcane barrage or something? No, I used my um bombardment oh, with did you? my willpower. Yeah, that's that one, but let's go do this dude over here. I'll just round these up. I feel like this room, like, I feel like these guys don't actually die, though. I remember, like, maybe this is not the same place, but they, like, keep respawning as you're killing them. Yes, there is somewhere like that. Yeah. I don't think it's that particular room. I just remember we had a really hard time with that. <sighs> There's a few places like that where they just infinitely respawn. And you're just supposed to try to get it through it. But yeah, but honestly, since the last video, we haven't gotten too many new skills. It seems like Brawler is designed where you get most of your key skills pretty early on, actually. And the later skills are pretty far and few between. I do did get one skill here. Oh, that's not good. I'm going to use it. But here's the first boss. Summoning his ads. I think we have to kill things actually. Is there any more ads? No, oh, there's some. Wow, we crushed him. <laughs> Didn't we have harder time on this last time with our 
Who did, uh, we, who did we do this last with? I don't remember now. I feel like I was on... I don't know. I, the only time I remember actually doing this dungeon was when I was playing my priest and you were your warrior. Okay. I think... It, yeah, I ago. think that was a long time ago. I think this was... I think I had a hard time on this when I was soloing Gunner. And by hard time, I mean I actually got hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, like, kill him in five seconds. I think we are missing a quest because we... There, I think there was a quest to get those quest stones. Dang it. Oh yeah, and then we gotta go back and talk to Jelena. There's, I think, another little timed escort, escort or quest. Go ahead and use a uh, speed potion if you got one. But yeah, I was trying to say I only gotten I think two new skills, and they're both actually pretty decent. One is a rage spending skill, which is invigorating rage. Which is a self heal. Let me mouse over here. It's a self heal. You recover 40% of your maximum HP, which is really good. And you. Uh, let me your maximum burn half of your rage. So yeah, you get. Uh, you, it only takes half of your rage bar instead of the full rage bar, which is kind of nice. It's a good, good big, solid heal when you when you need it. And the other skill was uh, Mounting Rage, which is immediately gain 50% of your maximum rage, then gain 50 rage per second for 20 seconds. It's actually also very, very good, you know, for starting out a fight, like if you're at empty rage, it gives you a little initial boost to your rage you bar. It helps you build it up fast so you can use a rage skill pretty quickly into the fight. Because that is one of the annoying things about rage, is it does decay very quickly once you're out of combat. Eliminate all monsters. Okay. So yeah, both actually really good skills. The only thing is you can't use uh, Growing Fury while more, uh, Mounting Rage is active. So which would be kind of broken because of how Growing Fury slowly drains it. And then Mounting Fury would keep it maxed out and make it a little bit OP. So it makes sense that though you can't use those at the same time. But one other thing I actually got that I really like was a glyph for a roundhouse kick. It's this glyph right here. Oh no, that's not it. This one. Yeah, this one right here. Um, grounding roundhouse kick. Adds a frontal defense effect to jackhammer, pile driver, or haymaker if the skill is used within five seconds after. Which is very, very good. Because the one big thing about haymaker is it leaves you vulnerable because it has such a long animation. But if you do... Uh, roundhouse kick first, so you do a roundhouse kick and then haymaker. See how you're gold? That means you're uh, blocking attacks for that whole animation, which is a uh, very, very nice, very cool glyph. I like that one a lot. Jackhammer also has pretty long animation. Did you get the those? Potion of um, yeah. I got four now. Okay, well I, I need some of those, so Okay. The next one uh pass. Because the, the next dungeon you actually need those. Um Treasure chest. Are we missing a bunch of quests? Maybe. <laughs> oh well, we just Bye. need the red quest anyway, the other ones aren't that consequential. Okay. 
Okay, I got full rage. Let's see how long I can keep it. it might be this room. Yep. So just, uh, yeah, let me get out of here. That is the instance bond room. Yeah, they, like, don't go past. So yeah, coming up here is the oh, oh, ring. Is that an upgrade? Yes, it is. This is a little escort quest area. Well, it's not really an escort. I guess it's just a little timed, timed event. Oh, it's Elion. What a noble presence! But I think it was Jelena. Okay, I'm gonna start it. Ready? Yep. Uh, another five minutes escort quest. Gunner. Gunner's really good. Did you get any new skills since our last time? Yeah, a very important one. A recall to my HP 5. It's yeah, have good. him stand still. Have him stand still and then. Wait, hold on. All right, let's kill these guys. That is a very cool skill. Kind of has a long cooldown though, that's the only thing. Can you make him stand still? I thought... Just click it like, once. Yeah, but and then, it's and then not run doing away. anything. Yeah, there we go. No. No. Okay. Yeah, okay, so then... Hey, you didn't do it. Yeah. It says 40 meters. Oh, it says oh, it's only 40 meters. I don't think I was more than 40 meters. You weren't more than 40 meters. I don't know why. That's weird. What's the cooldown on it? Um, 40 seconds. So it does have a really long cooldown. Yeah. That skill is really, really nice, though, because you can have your HP 5, because it is an iframe. Even if he's like next to you, I think it might be. Maybe it's like a line of sight. Don't, don't um, get a little. Just get. Yeah, that's fine. Try again. There you go. <laughs> so that whole time you're chained, and he's pulling you in. Your it's complete iframe. It's really really nice. Very very good for a lot of different boss attacks. Do we need to kill these golems? I don't know. Daddy, are you kidding me? 
but... I was, like, right on the spikes when you hit him, and then when you hit him, they went off. Is that what it causes him? I didn't even know that. He has, like, a million hit points, so... I'm gonna put a Santa candle. He's probably not like, gonna let us get out of combat, is he? God no, dang it. Cause you aggroed him. Oh wait, there we go. Did you get out of combat? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna use a triple charm, I think I do you have any triple charms? Yeah, I'll have four. Go ahead. There's a cute little Santa candle. I can't remember if he does anything. Does he buff, like, the no. duration or anything? No. Um, like, the purple? It's literally campfires. just a regular candle that's, like, holiday themed. It's not like the fancy ones that are, like, purple flamed and blue flamed. Yeah. Those do stuff. Those are cool. They give you, they either, like, increase the duration of your, of your, uh. I thought they both did it, but one's, like, longer. I don't remember. Is that what it is? Oh, I do have some triple charms. I didn't see them. I can't remember. Does one of them actually improve the effect effectiveness of them, yeah, or just I, the duration? I think of that the might charm? be it. I'm not sure. Was that it? Is that the last wave? Consider the core. Wait a minute, why does he have a hood now? He's trying to keep his identity a secret again. <laughs> yeah. So he took his hood off, hood off and then when he was done fighting he put it back on. Yeah, that's just he needed to look cool again. Like all mysterious. Yeah. Yeah, the enemy here's, enemies in here are just, even though they're still pretty easy, they're like, literally have double or triple the hit points of, of the previous dungeon enemies. Okay, this part, he summons a bunch of, oh my gosh, you can juggle these guys. He summons all these dogs. Ooh, mystic weapon. Fortune favors. I remember there was cutscenes here. Now. <laughs> well, there's Freya. The soul is fading. Yeah. And the core will unleash its magic. Commander, you have to decide. Man, these are really old school, like pre-rendered. Give it to me, Sirian. No! It's time for someone else to sacrifice. Sacrifice? You sacrificed your ordinary life. A life of honorable struggle. Kaidu sacrificed his future. Yeah, that's Kaidu, and he was in the last. So much sacrifice. It's my turn. I 
I think this is this the final dungeon in the Freya storyline? Probably. I think it is. She's like all evil now. It's over. Danger is near. <laughs> she looks more drugged than usual. <laughs> She's freaking high. I'm not sure what she's smoking in that pipe. Consider the core. Well, judging from her face, probably no. something very strong. Uh, you gotta make some room already. <laughs> Are you using that recall again? What's the name of that skill? It's literally called recall. Really? Yeah. And it said I could go up to 40 meters, so I went to 40 meters away, and then... Yeah, I think it I think it only didn't work that one time, because it must have been a line of sight issue. Like, yeah. there must have been a, like, object or something in between you and him, and it just canceled it out. Well, you can use it when you're knocked down, or using another skill. Yeah, you can use it with another skill, yeah. It's basically instant. It completely interrupts anything and will give you a, some iframes. Uh, what do we gotta do? We gotta use this thing. There's another boss. Yeah. I don't know if... I think... I think that's the end of the dungeon proper, and this one's kind of what considered a bonus boss. I think. That's the end of the quest line, at least. Ground Pounder is still insanely good. Huge AoE. Man, I hardly even remember this guy. I remember he was a giant. Okay, you ready? the rage heal. You can see it gives you a nice chunk of hit points. Ooh, is that plate? Yes, it is. Uh, well, this is a... Uh, yeah, it is. This one's enchantable, so I think it is slightly better than what we got. Let's see what this one looks like. Cloth. Okay, let me let me have this one. You okay. Pay. Okay. Cool. Thank you. We should only need one, I believe. I think they last for an hour. What is it like a thing where there's like always a debuff and you need to use it or something? Yeah, it's like a. I can't remember if it's a, like a poison. It's something where you have to. Whenever you enter that dungeon, you're supposed to use one of those. Otherwise, you're either like debuffed the whole time or something. But that wasn't. 
Akesha's hideouts. Which I'm trying to recall now. Maybe that is. Maybe this wasn't the last one. Maybe that is the last one in the Freya storyline. I can't remember now. Let's go back to Kastanica real quick. And do the turn in. Because I'm wondering if this does lead it right to Akesha's hideout or not. Hey, look, it's your favorite loading screen. Yeah. That one is pretty cool. That is one nice thing about Terra is they have those like fan art contests and then they use the winners and uh, in the they take the winners and use them in the loading screens. Yeah, I think that's cool. That is really cool. I don't think like most and like I can't name any other games that actually do that. So. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen an MMO use so like player Firebase Valor. Yes, I think this is. Let's just go ahead and keep, keep on right on going because I, I think this leads right to Akasha's hideout. Which is a pretty short little instance, if I recall. It's like that big, and honestly, you'll see when the map, it honestly looks like a giant swastika. Okay. Seriously. Entrance and... How can I help? Yep. Yeah. But uh, make a little bit of room if you need... Get rid of these jump crystals. Alrighty, and just uh, follow me, because I believe <laughs> I remember. I remember the first time leveling through here and doing this dungeon. It literally took us like an hour to find the entrance. Because if you like look on the map, see where it is. Yeah. It like, it's like in the middle of nowhere. We were like looking for, we were on the southern side and like looking all around for it. And it was like right in the middle of a mountain and we couldn't find it. It's actually up here. Yeah, so we did Golden Labyrinth and now we're going to do Akesha's Hideout. And this one I'm pretty for sure is the end of... Freya's storyline. Storyline quests. I'll pull up my log. The next storyline quests, I think, go to Kaitor. Uh, yep, the next ones are all in Kaitor, so yeah, this is the end of like the Elementia Freya quest line. How can I help? Okay, use, use your um, holy potion. I wonder if people still sell those. Maybe, but I thought we got them pretty easily, so as long as you did the... Yeah, but literally nobody runs Golden Labyrinth anymore. Yeah. I mean, we're only running it just to do the storyline quest, but... that like zero people do that dungeon anymore. <clears throat> yeah, so there's this... Did you see the map? Take a look at the map. Oh my gosh. Was that right? Yeah. It's a giant swastika. Where's my frame 
ready to go. My frame rate went in the toilet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it did. Was your frame rate? It wasn't that bad. I mean, it was it down to like 11, 11 FPS. I don't know what it is about Terra. I mean, seriously. I mean, I have a pretty monster computer. Even yours is still Just pretty decent. Just call your computer monster. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It's a pretty high-end computer, because that, that's what I do all the recording on, and it, it still can't... I mean, Terra is like the only game that I can't get like 60 plus frames per second. Fortune favors the bold, right? I don't know why That's it's... a really tragic story he got there. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> Yes, it's very important to have 60 frames per second as a gaming elite. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, destroy those little barrels. I don't want to get near them because they knock you over. Oh no, you can't get knocked over. Well, they kill all the things near it too, so you can. Let's see? Or it takes them down to like one hit point. I thought I killed them. Maybe it used to. Okay, blow that one. All right, let's see. I should be able to round these guys up. This whole entire place on like slums. Like, I hate fighting on slopes. You hate what? I hate fighting on slopes. I mean, oh. hard to like aim. On. Yeah, Terra has always weird, been weird on slopes. The hit detection goes crazy when you're at a different elevation. Oh, he's so big and scary. I don't know why we needed a cutscene for that. Oh my gosh, it's the Risen Darkwing. Maybe he's like the reincarnation of Donald Duck. Darkwing Duck? Yeah. Get it? Yes, I get it, but you know Donald Duck was not Darkwing Duck. Well, I've never seen that, so <laughs> I can't say really, but... Well, who is it? Is it like a different duck? Or is it just Darkwing Duck? It's just Darkwing no, it is duck. a different duck. Is this the reason for the potion? Okay. Okay, I don't know what you did there. Uh, come over here, my heel. I'm gonna use my Coco. Yeah, stand in the. There we go. That's <laughs> funny. I didn't actually ever know that, but the um, the Gunner's heal uh, robot HB5. Well, actually, his healing is an AOE healing. So it actually hit everybody. It was actually healing me for a lot. No, because you're using Oh, your I used my potion. That's right. <laughs> well, he's still <laughs> healing for a decent for amount. Like, yeah. Look, he's healing you up pretty quick. Yeah. But even though the, the HP 5 will only target the gunner, but if you stand next to the gunner, you'll actually get the same heal, which is pretty funny. It's not, it's not a good in-combat heal, but it's good for like... You know, At like right now. Or like it's like for reducing downtime. Did. Do you need... you don't need that? I don't think you need that either, do you? Nope. Alright. So he's kind of the guy in the middle, and I think the next boss that you fight is actually random. random. Yeah. Yeah, don't we have to, like, operate this thing? And... Yeah, go ahead and use it. Oh yeah, it's gonna take about five hours. Ooh, the earring. That might be an upgrade. What is this? Oh yeah, 205. It's a good upgrade. That's not even... Yeah. Oh my god. What, didn't it go? No, I somehow exited out of it. So <laughs> <laughs> we have right, to start at 99% you exited out of it? Yeah. That's basically what happened. That's a bummer. Oh my gosh, that bar is so slow. 
It is. There it goes. I touched the switch. Okay. Oh, okay then. It's the unveiling. So isn't it like two guys or yeah, it's this guy or I feel like it's a giant or something, it's yellow. Yeah, it's another Argon guy and I don't remember I don't remember what it is. Was it a giant? I can't remember. That would be my guess though. I'm not sure. Giant or a fang spawn maybe? Yeah. I don't remember. But fang spawns aren't really like with the Argon thingy. True. Or this yeah. is a good point. I don't know if I've ever seen a fang spawn that's like been organized. Organized? Yeah, organized. <laughs> organized is the process of turning a BAM into an argon. Did you know that? Well, now it's an I official do, word. So... I didn't just make it up. Oh, you didn't? Oh. <laughs> I died in was like it? one hit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even remember what they were supposed to do. We're killing everything so fast. Yeah, but they looked like mystics or like healers. Ooh, Twilight but... Rap. Those are a cool. Uh, I remember, oh man, I remember back in the day, these, this gear used to be so good. Um, is there. Is no, there... we don't want to exit yet. I know. So we want to do that one big. Investigate Plague Heart. Escape Plague, our eliminate Gilgash Guardian. Okay, and we did. So we either have to do Gilgash Guardian or Akalash Card. Uh, it's Gilgash Guardian Rugriba. 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 Or Akalash Chardy. Which one did we just kill? <laughs> I have no idea. I'm thinking it was the second one, but I'm not sure. Yeah, that was the whole thing with this, is that... Did you turn in the thing? You'd have to run this multiple times. Yeah, okay, yeah. Did you turn it in? Uh, yeah. Okay. Akash. It's Akash. She's going to turn into Big Crab again. Again? With a big face on its butt. What? Yeah, I didn't... Oh, no, that, that wasn't her. It was... Uh... We fought that crab in the little mini instance, didn't we, earlier? It was like a hermit crab. Oh no, and yeah, the other was, one? That was a guy. It was the one yeah, it was guy. the guy that turned into it, but... But it didn't that girl look like was that. Too, wasn't she? I don't remember. Oh no, wait, this is Akasha. She was the girl on the bridge, summoning the things that we had to fight off. Maybe this is a different crab? It uses the hermit crab animations, though. Yeah. I think. It's either I the hermit like crab too. animations or the regular ones. I mean... Did you already destroy the barrels too? Oh, okay, there are the barrels. <laughs> we killed them so fast the barrels didn't even come up. No, I killed a couple of the oh, barrels, you, you but I wasn't them. on the right side and you were like in the middle, so I didn't even bother. Yeah, when this when this boss was hard, it's like you summon all those ads and like yeah. like usually someone would have to kite them around and then detonate those barrels on them and that would kill most of them. <laughs> and now we just While kill everyone all else them. was trying to get the boss. Yeah, I remember it back, back then. Yeah, back when this used to be like a hard instance. Yep. 
it was really hard at level 50. If you did this at level 50 back in the day, it was even hard for a five man. Was that it? Yep. Okay, let's report back to Elion. See if we get a cool cutscene. Let's see if he's trying to act cool with his hood on. Oh god, this is the... <laughs> oh, that's the messed up one. This is the messed up one. I don't understand how that got through at all. Like, oh. it's like it's like a contest winner. It's not even like an honorable mention. Like Really? I don't I don't actually know, remember. I get the feeling like some kid did it, and like they gave him an award because it was really good for that age. But I'm like 14. Why can't I get an award? Yeah, you could do I it. I could do that. You could draw a picture. <laughs> And submit it, and then you can have a loading yeah, screen. Yeah, should. Yeah, yeah. Just what I've always wanted. All right, come on, Elian. See how much XP we get for this. Hopefully, a lot. <laughs> it should. How can I help? Nineteen million. I'd say that's a lot. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. <laughs> Holy crap! That goes to fifty-six. I'm not there yet. Oh, you didn't How'd you get it? Get it? No. I, I just barely, barely <laughs> got it. I can't even see my <laughs> XP bar. You're close, though. Yeah. No new skills, unfortunately. In fact, looking down here, let's see if... I only got two more skills to come. Infuriate, well, that's a pretty standard one. That's not until 65, but that, all that does is forces the enemy to enrage. We're going to get one more rage skill. Call upon the Fury of the Gods, leap into the air, and smite a group of enemies with a high chance of knockdown. Looks like a, maybe a big AoE attack. Wow, base damage, 10,000. Holy cow. These rage skills are amazing. Now that I have so many rage skills, I'm actually considering glyphing for increased rage. There's some skills that give increased rage generation. Was that it? Yeah, there's like no... You didn't get a cool cutscene or nothing? <laughs> no. I'm sorry to say we don't get a cool cutscene. Oh, that's a letdown. So maybe that was Freya's last thing is she has that evil energy inside of her. And that's like... I can't like... I feel like there is like something else. I don't well, know. I think that was just to kill Acacia because she attacked. Maybe Elian just wanted to kill her. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, well, um, yeah, that's it, actually. That was actually really, really good XP. I would say if you're leveling up, um, you know, if you're still leveling up your Brawler, definitely stop by Golden Labyrinth and Akesha's Hideout. That ended up being amazingly good XP for two quick uh, dungeon runs. So. so, yeah, so that's it. Thank you very much for watching. We'll probably have maybe one or two more videos once we get closer to 65. But um, that's pretty much it for... Uh, the dungeons I'm trying to think because we're not going to do like Ebon Tower or anything like that we'll be into the expansion area so yeah this is probably it for the dungeons we'll, but we'll definitely do a once we get 65 we'll definitely do a run of uh, man what's that place called I can't remember the name of it the level 65 dungeon that we do All, like on our other characters Sabex Armor Sabex Armor thank you but I thought that was like a level 60 dungeon. You're right. Well, yeah, it's level 60, but... Um, we do it at 65. You want to do it at level 60? No, thank you. <laughs> I'm not going to be that kid. You want to wait till 65? Yes. Well, whenever we're in there, we always there's always like a level 60 in the group that gets destroyed repeatedly. Well, I mean, I mean, we could be like 63. 63 is usually doing Yeah, once we get the... I think it's 62 or 63 once you get the upgraded avatar... Yeah, weapon. weapon and armor, and then it's actually pretty decent. But yeah, that's it for now, everyone. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time. Bye for now.